All right, everyone. So this is a little bit about the clan chest counter. It is going to count who does how many chests in the clan, um, assigns them all a score, and will help tell you who in your clan is actually, uh, you know, helping and not helping. So I'm just going to run it quickly to show you guys, and then I'll explain a little bit about it. So I'm going to run a capture. So there's a capture command. Um, there's a whole bunch of different commands. Um, when you download the file, you're going to have a bunch of um, folders. You're going to have the install, which can be tricky. I'm going to make a separate video on that. And then you've got the run. And under your run document, um, you're going to have, you know, how to calibrate the, uh, the counter, uh, how to capture chests, end of day, generate a report, all that kind of stuff. So I am just going to run a capture. So when you first run capture, um, it's going to ask you how many chests. So you can see here, enter total number of chests you want to collect. I'm just going to collect five. Again, I'm just trying to show you guys how this works. And it is currently collecting five chests. It didn't recognize this person's name, um, but it is Mafia Joe. I didn't have that in the file. There you go. So now it's going to update the player information file, um, which is also in here. So if I go into um, config players.myclan, so this is everybody in my clan that has so far, since I've been running this, put a chest in. And it adds them all to the list. And so far, obviously, some people just haven't had a chest um, since I've been running this because there's only 59 and it, there's definitely all 100 people in our clan, you know, do chests. So that's what the uh, the player list is. Uh, it gets updated all the time as you run the program. So you don't need to add people, add anybody manually. Um, again, if it doesn't recognize somebody, uh, like it might not recognize my D54 if I didn't have that person in there already. See, I don't, right? I don't have that my D54 person in there. So let's collect another five chests. Now, usually you would run this at hundreds, right? 999. Um, I'm just going to do five again, just to show you. So it says error unknown player should be added to the player file. Enter the correct name for the player. Hit enter if that is correct. Well, it is. So I'm going to hit enter, and now the person, my D54, will be um, in that file when I update the player information. So that's this enter right here. And now if I go into my players.myclan, you'll see my D54 is there. Um, so once you run a capture, all the data gets saved just in a, a text document. So now I've run a whole bunch. I need to clear this between each run or else it doubles everybody up. But um, you can see down at the bottom here, you know, the last five I collected um, and the five before that. And these were, you know, everybody else throughout the day. Um, if you don't clear this manually, you actually have to go in and delete it. It's just going to keep adding them. So that's a pretty important step. Then what you can do is run um, end of day. So this processes it all. 
into the not the working. So this is uh, the raw data again. So here's you know the last one that I really just ran, and this tells you you know um, yeah what what you just ran. So how many you ran. So you can see back here at this point in time. I did a really big long um, run and it tells me what uh, every single person did and this is my collection time. Um, under final, so this is where reports are put. Um, archived is old archive data, bin now this is where the actual program is. So this is the, the, the Python file that you are running from the command prompt. Um, and there's a whole bunch of code in here that, I mean, you don't need to know. If you know Python, have fun looking through it. Um, I don't. So I don't look through it. I know it works. Um, config file, I'll talk about that later. Actually, there it is right there. So here's a whole bunch of data quality. So this here, um, if you uh, don't have your settings correct when you're setting this up, then it might cut off part of the chest. So this is saying, hey, if you see um, ODEN, that is the wooden chest. If you see Bra or Obra, that is the Cobra chest. Bone is the bone chest. Dead is the undead chest. So the it's to help the capture program um, with mistakes that it can make. This is the fix for the OCR, the optical um, character recognition. But I don't have anything in there right now config file um, really the only important stuff leave everything default these coordinates they're going to automatically be put in when you run your config but um, if you can't that doesn't work you might have to manually put these in I did but I might not run the config properly uh, players I've showed you and now scores This is what each chest is actually worth. So here it's saying that a level five crypt is worth one point, level 10 crypt is worth four, level 25 crypt is worth 275, level 35 epic crypt is worth a thousand points. So if somebody in your clan or in our clan gets one of those, that's the amount of points it's worth. Um, and these are all the chests that you get from actually buying stuff like in the triumphal um, so if you buy something in the shop and you get a chest right that's what those are from oh I'm still on the uh, seasonal that's why uh, I wasn't recognizing some of those I also have a lot more chests on my main so um, let's go back to where was I Right, the scores. The players in my clan. So I uh, now have some players in there that shouldn't be in there from the Seasonal Kingdom. Um, and you can have different clans running too if you want. Um, and then these are summaries. So that is the end of day. So on 2023-09-09, summary will take what you have in your not your working in your final, not final, data, which is why you have to clear it. So now if I go to um, here, so let's actually run a, um, an end of day. 
I know it's not the end of day. It's uh, just the start of the day. But I'm going to run the end of day. EOD. Warning the following chess types have no score assigned. But you can see here that level 16 heroic with a little dash. I didn't have, when I was capturing this, my screen set up properly. So this is actually heroic monster, um, which under your scores, does have a value. Um, so really what I'm doing here is just showing you an example. Uh, if I set this up right, it would be better, but all your heroic monsters do have scores assigned to them based off of, uh, you know, whoever kills the heroic monster gets a, a chest for the clan. Um, but it did. So it saved the data file in this, you know, final TV chests, my clan dot CVS file. So that is the end of day processing. And now I'm going to do a summary report. summary and it says summary has started summary complete so now if you look at the file TV player summary my clan final file so here's this is like that end of day on the 10th now it says the 10th but a lot of this because they didn't clear the file is actually from the day before um, also I accidentally have somebody from uh, the seasonal kingdom in here. So this isn't quite accurate, but this is just a full summary of everybody and their score or the final for the day. And I want to see what the actual summary my clan is. So here Bob had the highest count or highest score, even though he didn't have the most number of chests, his score was the highest. Um, and then you see some here. <laughs> I had zero. Um, Lady Galadriel, Dark Tien, all had a score of zero, even though they had a count of two. And that's because it doesn't quite count right if uh, you don't set it up right. So that's my bad. And the no score. I guess just shows you who the players are that got them. If you want to copy and paste or something. Um, yeah, so every day, if you run this at the end of the day, or if you clear your data, um, it should you know, really tell you kind of what's happening, what's going on. So that is the program and how it works. Um, I'll run through the command prompt because that's what you do with Python. Um, or if not the command prompt, you know, whatever terminal window you like to use. Um, so let's uh, collect some more. Capture, and I'm going to capture 20. I didn't have poop and sniff, so it automatically adds it. But if the player is already in there, um, you know, after you do this for two days, you should have every single person in the clan on your list. If not, somebody's not collecting chests. It's just going to keep going until it's collected 20 chests. Um, obviously, it's much better to do this at, you know, 500 and then just let it run and walk away. So that's 20 chests. Um, I don't know how big my capture area is for that text recognition. 
player information. I do want to save that. I'm actually going to run again. I'm going to run three to see what it says for the Union of Triumph personal reward. Oh, so I do have my um, recognition set far enough now. So that's nice. So that's for the right clan. And again, under working, you can see this one right here. I did 20 collections and it collected it all. And this one here, it did three because I want to see if it actually got that one right. Um, now what I'm going to do is go to my this and delete all this. I should spell it wrong. Delete. Save. So now this is empty. Right, the data is for my clan. It's empty. So now if I do a end of day. Oh, okay. Sorry, let's do this again. I'm going to do capture. I'm going to do 10. And chest collected. So now I can do my end of day. Somewhere? Am I end of day? What? It doesn't like the, there's a space, if you noticed, I had a, a hard return at the very top there. Um, make sure when you're clearing it, you don't have a hard return or a space on your first line. I was wondering why that was happening. There we go. So there's no score. For Union of Triumph personal. That's fine. Um, and now I'm going to do a summary. Old finals, so it overwrites it. Well, that's nice to see. Done this date because it doesn't have uh, any score for the Union of Triumph um, personal reward, which we should add. Really. Only one person got a score. So let's look at the summary. No, oh, it just keeps, uh, I guess the summary keeps adding them. Let's don't need that one. So this is just per day, I guess. So I guess you could save, clear this and save it 
each day as something else. Um, I'm still learning how to use this. Uh, Bowen just downloaded it. Old archives. Anyways, um, I mean, it does work. Uh, Got to play around with it a little bit, get it to work better. Um, but yeah, that's the clan chest um, counter to know who is actually contributing chests to the clan and who isn't. All right, that's it for now. Um, in the next video, I'll actually show you guys how to install it. Um, it is a little tricky. All right.